This is the top view camera and the roof marker. This is the rear view camera and the wall marker. Before cleaning, the CC1 must be placed under or in front of the marker. This is the emergency button. If there's an emergency, you can stop the robot right away by pressing the emergency stop button. Then turn the button clockwise, click the screen to undo the emergency, and the robot can keep working. This is the touch screen. You can manually move the robot by lifting the screen handle, and press the buttons on both sides to pull the handle back. There are four ultrasonic radars in front of the robot, with an AGBD sensor above and below respectively. There is the main LiDAR on the bottom, there is the solid state LiDAR in the rear, two ultrasonic radar on the left side, four ultrasonic radars on the right side, this is the side brush, these are two sweeping brushes, this is the trash box, this is the dust box, this is the carpet vacuuming assembly, these are two scrubbing brushes, this is the dust mopping sweeper. This is the squeegee. This is the water filter box. This is the wastewater tank. With the help of different cleaning parts, the CC1 can sweep, mop, scrub, and vacuum. The rubbish will be gathered in the trash box and the sewage and dust will be stored in the wastewater tank and dust box separately. This is the clean water inlet and water filler tube. This is the wastewater outlet and drainage pipe. This is the electrode which is mainly used to connect the docking station for automatic charging. The CC1 can also be charged manually. This is the key for the power switch. The key is recommended to be stored properly after use. The start button is next to the main LiDAR. To turn on the robot, you need to twist the key and then press, and hold the start button for 5 seconds. Click the main interface to check the status of the equipment, then follow the on-screen instructions to add clean water or drain sewage. Sweeping mode. Side brush. The side brush is readily removed. During installation, you should maintain the side brush hole lined with the bearing, then spin, and push into the robot gently. Sweeping brush. Open the cover and use your thumb to lift the roller buckle, and then remove two roller brushes. During installation, you should tilt the roller brush slightly, align the hole position and push it in place, and finally lock the buckle. Mopping sweeper. Remove the suction pipe, press the buckle with both hands and pull it back to remove it, install the suction pipe back on the mopping sweeper, and press it inward to complete the mopping sweeper installation. Put in the dust box. Carpet vacuuming mode. Carpet vacuuming assembly, similar to the mopping sweeper installation method. Put in the dust box. Scrubbing mode. There's no need to install a side brush. Scrubbing brush. Similar to the sweeping brush installation method.
put in the water filter box. Cleaning task creation. Go to settings, click task management. Click new task, choose the map, cleaning area, cleaning parameters and return point, where the robot will automatically go back to at the end of the task, etc. Click Automatic Cleaning, choose the sweeping task you created, and make sure its settings and cleaning parts match. The CC1 can automatically start the task, and go back to the return point when it's done. Click Automatic Cleaning, choose the scrubbing task you created, and make sure its settings and cleaning parts match. The CC1 can automatically start the task, and go back to the return point when it's done. Time Task Enter the interface for setting up time tasks, Click New Time Task, and then you can set the time and task. Click Manual Cleaning, choose the sweeping task you created, and make sure its settings and cleaning parts match. Then you can manually move the CC1 to sweep. Click Manual Cleaning, choose the scrubbing task you created, and make sure its settings and cleaning parts match. Then you can move the CC1 to scrub. Notice, at the end of scrubbing, you should move the robot a short distance forward to ensure that the squeegee absorbs all the water out. Task Cancellation, click on the screen to cancel the task and confirm the cancellation. Auto Return Cancellation, click on the screen to cancel the task and confirm the cancellation. Pause, press the emergency button to pause the robot. Resume, turn the emergency button clockwise, click the screen to undo the emergency, and the robot can keep working. Collision, collision occurs during robot operation. Recovery, collision false alarm, the robot will automatically dismiss the alarm and resume the task in 3 seconds. You can set up common settings such as map switching, mission setup, network language version upgrade, etc. Every 15 days, the RGBD sensor and LiDAR should be cleaned with soft tissue paper or other lens cleaning supplies to prevent sensor blocking and robot malfunction. Cleaning parts need to be cleaned regularly sweeping or dust mopping mode. You can remove the side brush and clean up the tangled hair or other garbage stuck on it.
you can remove the sweeping brushes and clean up the tangled hair or other trash. Please empty the trash from the trash box. Please follow the steps to remove the mopping cloth. You can wash the mopping cloth every three days and keep it dry. Please clean the dust box in the wastewater tank. Scrubbing mode. You can remove the scrubbing brushes and clean up the tangled hair or other trash stuck on them. Empty the trash from the trash box. Remove the squeegee for simple cleaning. Please clean up the garbage collected by the water filter box in the wastewater tank. Please empty and clean the wastewater tank every day. Carpet vacuuming mode. Remove the carpet vacuuming assembly for simple cleaning. Take out the drain pipe from robot and put it into the floor drain or transfer basin. Enter the device status interface and click manual drain. Check the scale of the wastewater tank and empty out the sewage. Use the water filler tube to add water. Check the scale of the clean water tank in the equipment status. Add water to the required volume. Open the protection cover. Hold the connector in place. Press the metal buckle and push inward and hear the bar sound to confirm the connection. Check the charging status on the interface. The CC1 can be fully charged in 3.5 hours. Unplug the charger when it is fully charged. Clean the electrodes once a week and keep them dry. The battery is replaceable, 